You have completed the first phase of your training and are now ready to continue. Before you expand your open water training, we need to once again review some of the risks as they apply to scuba diving in the open water. Anytime you enter the water to dive, there is the risk of an accident that may include injury or even death. This risk requires that you be very conscious of your responsibility to follow instructions and remain in close contact with your instructor during supervised activities. However, your safety is ultimately your responsibility and your goal is to perform without depending on your instructor. Since the nature of some open water skills requires the instructor to give direct attention to one student at a time, there will be moments when you're out of the instructor's vision. As always, it is your responsibility to maintain contact at all times. Also, the instructor can only judge you by your performance. It is your responsibility to say how you feel. Let the instructor know if you're cold, sick, overheated, or tired. You should not participate if you don't feel well. And you should never say you're satisfied with your performance if you aren't. This video will show areas of risk in the open water so you have a clear understanding of your responsibilities prior to signing the required forms. You are responsible for your own physical and mental fitness. Your current readiness to dive includes not being sick or in poor health. The use of any substance that may impair your performance as a diver is contrary to safe diving. It is natural to feel somewhat excited, even stressed, prior to open water diving. But remember, you have been trained to deal with the risks. Follow the rules and dive within your limits, and you will have a wonderful adventure. As your comfort and skills in the water now include scuba, you are now ready to further develop that same level of comfort with your scuba skills in open water. Risk cannot be totally removed from scuba diving or any other activity, but you can deal with it by learning to dive and by following the safe diving rules. Scuba diving is a blend of the person, the skills, and the equipment. You need a proper, complete total diving system that fits and is adjusted for you. Purchasing a total diving system that is best for you will improve your safety and enjoyment of diving. One last but important part of diving is learning to take proper care of your total diving system after every dive to prevent the risk of injury from equipment problems or failure. A special concern of scuba diving is the need to equalize your ears and sinuses as you descend underwater. By controlling your buoyancy with your BC, you can provide yourself time to equalize and not go beyond your planned depth. Breathing with scuba is best done in a slow, deep, relaxed manner. Breathe continuously and do not hold your breath. Swimming in a steady, slow, easy manner with neutral buoyancy will make you a more efficient diver. Another major concern of scuba diving is the possibility of having an overexpansion injury while ascending. By relaxing and breathing as you control your buoyancy, you can perform a slow and easy ascent. You need to look up, reach up, and proceed with care as you approach the surface. Otherwise, you might hit something, such as a boat, on the way up. Once on the surface, make your presence known to boaters. Be aware that you can see boats better than they can see you. Your understanding, your equipment, and your skills all help reduce the risks of diving. But remember that injuries can still occur. One concern about temperature is that you might overheat on the surface while you are putting on your dive gear. The other concern is that you may become excessively cold while underwater. Water takes away body heat 25 times faster than air. 
Therefore, divers need to wear the correct protective suit for the water temperature. Decompression sickness is a problem that can occur even if you follow all the rules. This is something you need to know and understand. Time underwater is based on decompression needs, air consumption, and comfort. You need to plan your dive and monitor your air supply to avoid running out of air. An out-of-air situation could lead to panic and drowning. Extra care must be used as you enter or exit the water, so as not to hurt yourself or others. A rocky shoreline, surf, and currents all add up to risks of diving. Diving skills, along with a calm, relaxed approach, will help you deal with these environmental conditions. Entanglement is a problem that can be handled as long as you don't panic. Some aquatic life can be harmful and care needs to be taken to avoid contact and to not provoke animals. The risk of diving-related injury is, of course, greater in the open water than in the swimming pool. But how you behave and relate to other divers is a key to lessening problems. You need to follow the instructions from diving leaders and follow the safe rules of diving. It is your responsibility to maintain both buddy and instructor contact during open water training dives. At the same time, only do those things to and with your buddy that you are comfortable with. You need to stay within your comfort zone. Keep your instructor informed of your needs, wishes, and concerns. The whole process of instruction will therefore go far better. Remember, the instructor only knows how you look not how you feel. Stress is a normal and expected part of scuba diving. You need to control it to be able to solve problems while in the water. By developing a higher level of awareness of yourself, your buddy, your skills, your total diving system, and the environment, you will be a better and safer diver. By putting all these ideas together with your training, you will be ready to dive in open water. Risk is a part of life. Activities that add adventure to our lives also add risks. Yet most recreational divers enjoy scuba diving without ever having an injury. At the same time, no one can guarantee that you will never have an accident. Scuba diving is an extremely interesting and enjoyable recreational activity. With the information provided here, your diving instruction, and a thinking approach to scuba diving, you can have exciting adventures with a known and controllable degree of risk. Now that you have been informed of the risks of scuba diving, you can go through the details of completing the necessary forms in which you acknowledge this information so that you can proceed with your diving activities. <laughs>